Hey guys, so new vlog. I am currently burning this candle that I just got from Walmart and I don't think it really smells like a lot but you know what it's called fall leaves so we're thriving. Okay so it is currently 11 o'clock at night on Sunday September 27th <laughs> and I just got done finishing up all my schoolwork that's due tomorrow. <laughs> Um, I feel really bad for my fiction writing class because I just tend to put it off until Sunday and I'm like, okay, let's turn it in. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how my Sunday night is going. And like I've said all week, I have wanted to start Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova and it just has not happened yet, but it is going to happen right now. Because lately I have been rereading Annalie in Real Life by Janelle Milanes, and I really enjoyed my reread of that. It's amazing, I've been tabbing it, and like I'm almost running out of tabs. <laughs> I just love that book so much. If you've never read Annalie in Real Life, read it immediately, it's so good. But currently that book is in my mom's car, and she's going to take that in the morning, and I don't feel like going outside at 11 o'clock at night to just go get my book. So you know what? We are going to start Incendiary. This is the universe telling me that I need to start Incendiary. So I have this bad boy right here. We love it. I'm so excited. Look at this gorgeous cover. It's beautiful. I'm really, really excited to start this. Um, as you guys know, I have been in a huge fantasy mood lately. And so I'm really excited to read this. <gasps> Look at the Look at this orange. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Okay. Um, I'm really excited to read this and I think I'm going to enjoy it. I don't know. I've just been wanting like more fantasy, something. I don't know. It's just what I've been into lately. So we're going to start it. We're going to try it out. I love Zoraida Cordova, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this book. And also because I went to Walmart today, I bought Hot Cheetos. I lately this year, for some reason, it might have to do with the coronavirus, <laughs> but I have just gone back to eating hot Cheetos and I literally have not eaten hot Cheetos since middle school. That, oh my god, it's been at least over a decade since I've eaten hot Cheetos. Like, I don't typically buy these, but this year, for like the first time in over 10 years, <sighs> It's just a moment. It's just a moment. So we have hot Cheetos, we have my water, and we have incendiary. I am ready. I am so pumped. All I need to do now is figure out what I'm going to be listening to. I'm thinking London Grammar, or I'm going to listen to my Wicked Saints playlist. It's either one, I don't know, because I have my Wicked Saints playlist, and that one's actually a pretty long playlist. It has, I think, over... 100 songs on it. <coughs> I wish it would tell you how many songs you have on your playlist, but it only tells you how many hours. And it's it's over seven hours long. And it also has 21 likes, which is like my highest liked playlist. So people seem to like my Wicked Saints playlist, but it's a good one to listen to when you're reading like a fantasy book. So I will leave the link down below to that playlist. It's really good. You can listen to any of my playlists. All of them are public. If you just want to search for my profile and like add me as a friend on Spotify, it's just Allie with books like it is everywhere. And yeah, so there's the playlist. We love her. She's iconic. And we're gonna start Incendiary. Also, if you're a fellow booktuber and you are debating whether to get a Canon G7X, do it. Pull that trigger. It's so good. I bought it a couple months ago and I could never look back. It's just, it's so, so good. So much better than filming on my iPhone. Okay, time for Incendiary. Let's go. London grammar for a freaking second because oh my god <laughs> oh my god 
on. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Okay. I just need to like read you guys some of these quotes from this book because I've literally, I'm only eight pages in and I have tabbed three times literally at first I was like oh I don't think I'm gonna tab anything but okay we're gonna start off with this quote right here here's a couple quotes um before Celeste could run the prince motioned with his gloved hand and the two soldiers bounded in from the hall his gloved hand oh my god okay we can make this simple Castian said his voice deep and even as he strode over to them he tugged off his fine leather gloves to reveal hands that did not belong to a prince oh. Calloused and scarred knuckles from years of hard training and fighting. Tell me where he is and I will make your death a swift and painless one. Okay, so I have spent um, a little bit of today reading Incendiary. I did not finish it today, but I think I'm going to be able to finish it tomorrow, which is super exciting. I've, I'm well past the halfway point. For some reason on um, Goodreads, it says that there's like less than 400 pages in this book. But I knew that there was over 400 pages. So I'm currently on page 259 and I've been tabbing the heck out of this book. As you can see, like look at how many tabs are in there. Um, and they all mean something. So if you can see, I have purple tabs. The purple tabs are for a character whose name is Prince Castian. I don't know if that's like the correct pronunciation. And then the yellow tabs, there's not very many, but that's for another character and I can't remember his name at the moment. Oh wait, it's Dez. And then the orange is for the main character and her name's Renata. So I'm really, really enjoying this book as you can tell. Um, there's so many good quotes from these characters, like so, so many. Um, so I'm really, really enjoying this book. Um, I should be able to finish it tomorrow. I have about 200 pages left. I've read 200 pages today, so it shouldn't be too difficult. I have so many thoughts about this book. It is so, so good. And it's like, I don't know, like, it's kind of interestingly paced because so much happens in the first section of this book. And then you kind of have like a little bit of like, you know, oh, kind of normal stuff and like, oh, a little exciting, then more normal. Um, it kind of reminds me of Shadow and Bone, but I like it so much more than Shadow and Bone. Like, I love Alina. I like, I feel like I'm one of those people that has like the unpopular opinion of I actually like Alina, <laughs> but I feel like that book as a whole is just not very strong. This one is much stronger. I feel like the world building is really good. I feel like the magic system is really good. The characterization is just so crisp. Like that's the only way I can describe it is that it's so tight. Like the characterization is just amazing. So if you're really character driven in your reading, you might really enjoy this book, but it does have a good plot. It does have good world building. It's very solid, but this is definitely super like just character driven, I guess, or just like it has a lot of good characterization. And I feel like the dialogue in this book is so good and so natural and just so engaging. And I feel like that's like super important in like having an interesting book or a book that you want to like read and enjoy is like the dialogue is so flippant important and there's as you can tell from my tabs a lot of these are from dialogue so um just like really really amazing dialogue the prince like the evil prince in this book has such great dialogue and i love that the prince doesn't want to be called prince castian he wants to be called lord commander and it just gives me like huge Kylo Ren vibes. Like I said this on um, Goodreads. I'm like, Zoraida just said, y'all like Kylo Ren, right? And gave us Prince Cassian because literally he is Kylo Ren. So if you like Kylo Ren, like I do, if you are like, you know, into Kylo Ren, into Ben Solo, I feel like you're gonna love this book. It's so good. And so many of his like quotes and just like little things are just so so good like the last tab i made it says i don't deserve heartache cassian says tortured hard you don't know what i deserve just absolutely incredible characterization amazing dialogue it's just iconic like honest to god iconic 
Um, I'll give you another one. Stop. Cassian tries to keep the steel of victory on the smooth plane of his brow, but those eerie blue eyes spark with worry. The prince squeezes a hand into a fist, the spikes across his knuckles poised as a threat to the young boy. I need him alive. <sighs> it literally, he literally is Kylo Ren. Like, he literally is Kylo Ren. I am just... This book is destroying me in the best way possible. Like, it's not like, okay, there has been death. <laughs> I don't want to give any spoilers because the death in this book that happens kind of towards like the middle-ish section, like the very beginning middle. Yeah, before the 200 page mark, there is a death and it's pretty big and it's not in the synopsis. So I don't want to give it away, but oh my God read this book read this book just do it for me if you don't want to do it for anybody else do it for me read this book everybody needs to be hyping this book up this book is like it's just as good as all the other little like white non-latinx you know fantasy series that y'all hype up all the time this is just as good if not better if not better <laughs> It's so good, but you know what? Like I said, Zoraida has never let me down before. Zoraida has never let me down. So I'm not surprised that this is amazing. I'm not surprised. It's literally iconic. It's amazing. I would die for this series. I also like, <laughs> I almost want to like start it again, even though I'm like not even finished. I just want to like start from the beginning again and just go through it. Oh my God, it's so good, it's so good. Okay, so now that I have talked about incendiary for a little bit, I also was able to edit a video, which is cool. That should be going up very soon. I kind of did an unhaul and went through all of my bookshelves just to kind of like figure out some of the books that I needed to take off my shelves. I don't wanna make this clip too long, so we're gonna sign off. And I think that we might just make this vlog specific to incendiary because I already have so many clips to go through. So we're just gonna make this an incendiary vlog. So I actually did my makeup for the first time since this weekend and it looks pretty good. I actually didn't use any uh, powder on my face today. I just decided to do some concealer like under my eyes, on my chin and on my nose. And then we did, I have this darker concealer because I got the wrong color. And so I used that kind of like around on my cheeks, sort of. And then I just got a Snapchat, if you could hear that. Um, and then I also used um, this ColourPop cream blush as well. So I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I didn't do my eyebrows today because I've been kind of trying to grow them out just to kind of make them a bit more natural. I don't want to like always have to pencil in my eyebrows. I also took a shower, so that's why my hair looks kind of like a mess. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about, <laughs> we're going to back up a little bit. <laughs> so I just wanted to talk a little bit about Incendiary because I did finish it earlier today. I loved it so much. I gave it a five out of five stars. It was so good. Guys, like seriously, you guys need to read this book. It was amazing. Like, <sighs> I had so many feelings, so many feelings, and I'm wearing my The Last Jedi shirt kind of to go with it because this book gave me huge Kylo Ren vibes, it gave me huge Raylo vibes, and I just loved it. It was so good, like seriously. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I tabbed the living heck out of this book, like literally tabbed the living heck out of it. And I don't typically tab books, but lately I have been getting into it and I feel like I'm on a roll now. I'm just like tabbing everything. <laughs> and so the tabbing packs that I have only have three colors per pack. So I've just kind of been going with different colors for different characters. So the purple was for the prince, his name's Castian. And then the orange is for the main character, Renata. And then the yellow is for her kind of like love interest, Des. And so you can kind of see where I was at with this book if it'll focus there we go you can kind of see what you know what stuff happened where <laughs> so i don't know if i've actually talked about what this book is about <laughs> but this book is about renata and she has magic she is a moria and she has the ability to take people's memories and in this world, being a Moria is really bad. You know, they are basically outlaws. 
So Renata used to work at the castle and she used to be kind of like one of the weapons that the king used. In order to punish prisoners, you know, she would take their memories and if you take enough of their memories, if you like drain a person of their memories, you just become a husk of themselves and they're like living but also not living. And so that was like a huge punishment. I think around the time when she's eight years old, she is taken away from the castle and is kind of like brought into this group of outlaw Moria and it's just such a good book. I really really enjoyed it. I really love just like the magic system in this book. It was really interesting because there are different types of Moria so there's like Moria that can influence emotions, there are Moria that can take memories and stuff like that and also there are illusionariums? Illusionaria? I can't remember what they're called, but their power is to create illusions. So there's a bunch of different kinds of Moria, and I just thought that was so interesting. I loved that the main character could take memories because you got to see a lot of like the backstory of like other characters in this book. And it was really fun to see how each of these characters' lives intersected with each other. And I just felt like, you know, having Renata be almost like a memory thief is just like super interesting. So this is kind of like an interesting sort of love triangle-ish. I don't know. I I mean, maybe I am just projecting, but I also did, I don't know. I don't want to give too many spoilers for this book because it's really good and I want you guys to read it. But, so there is the love interest Des, and he kind of reminds me of Mal from Shadow and Bone, but like, in a good way. Like, I don't like Mal from Shadow and Bone. I am anti-Mal. However, I am pro Des. I really like him. I was surprised. I was worried that he was kind of going to be one of those really bland YA love interests, but I should have known Sir Ryder Cordova would never let me down. So he was definitely not bland. I was not bored by him and I actually really liked him. And as you can see, there are quite a few yellow tabs up in this book. However, he was not quite as interesting as I guess you could say his counterpart, his foil, and that was Prince Castian, and I loved him so much. I thought he was so interesting as a character. He had the best lines in the book, in my opinion, <laughs> and I did show you guys some of those lines like in earlier clips, so you guys kind of have like some examples. He was just so fantastic as a villain, and if you know me, you know I love my villains. They just like always do it for me. Also, sorry about the noise. My window is open. It is so hot today. It is much hotter today than it has been all week. I am not loving it. I thought that this was such an amazingly fantastic fantasy novel and I'm really glad that the last three books that I've read that have all been Latinx and have all been for the Latinx Book Bingo Readathon have all been so amazing. Just absolutely incredible four or five stars and I'm really really excited. So I actually ended up looking online last night and I bought myself the Owl Crate version of this book and I'm actually currently looking for a cheaper fairy loot edition of this book because it's gorgeous. I really want it but the cheapest I've seen it <laughs> anywhere has been like 60 or 70 dollars and I'm like I am not about to be spending 60 or 70 dollars on a fairy loot edition of Incendiary. I loved this and I'm really sad because the sequel doesn't come out until May 11th and I'm just like how am I going to wait until May 11th? Like how is that going to be possible? Um, I might need to reread this before it comes out maybe towards like March or April I'll end up rereading it. I need the sequel tomorrow, like right now, today, yesterday. Um, hopefully if they have arcs, maybe I can get an arc of uh, the sequel to Incendiary. I actually don't know what it's called. I did add it on my Goodreads, so it should be on there, but we don't really know what it's called. I don't really know, but I'll put a picture of it right here. It has a really cool cover. It's like very similar to like this, like kind of like shattered girl sort of cover. It's really cool. So moving on from Incendiary, I did just get this book in the mail. It came out yesterday. I pre-ordered it. It was supposed to come yesterday, but it didn't come. So here we are. Um, it is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik, and I'm really excited about this book. It's much shorter than I thought it was going to be. It's just a little over 300 pages, and I'm just like, ooh. 
That was not what I was expecting, but okay, I'm down. I'm really excited about this book. I've never read a Naomi Novik book before, but I do own Spinning Silver and the other book, Uprooted. So I have those two books and I haven't read them yet, but I really want to. And so I'm really excited about this one because it's a magical school book. And my track record with magical school books has been not great. I did not like Harry Potter. I never liked Harry Potter, even when I was a little kid. And then I read The School for Good and Evil, and that was awful. I hated that book. So my track record is not great. Um, it could be a lot better. So I'm hoping that this remedies that. I'm really, really hoping because I love the concept of a magic school. I love that, you know, like, you know, academia and magic, great. Two things I love, put them together. So I'm very intrigued, I'm very excited. I also have some books from Barnes & Noble coming at some point. I don't know if that's gonna be today or if it's gonna be tomorrow, um, but they're gonna come at some point. I'm very excited. So I put up a poll on Twitter asking you guys what my next read should be. And as we speak, Mexican Gothic is the one that's winning. So I think this is gonna be the next book that I pick up possibly today I don't know um, my copy of Annalie in real life is still in my mom's car <laughs> and I have not taken it out yet so I definitely need to go get that whenever she comes home and hopefully I can finish that tonight so I'll be able to say that I've read four books this month which is actually really good because I didn't read anything in the first 15 days of September so um yeah I definitely want to start this right now though so we might have to start up a new vlog possibly um anyway this doesn't seem like a very long book I am a little nervous though because I'm a huge scaredy cat and um I know this is kind of horror I'm pretty sure it's horror um so I'm nervous but you know what it's gonna be fine <laughs> it's gonna be fine um, I'm really excited all right so I feel like that is gonna be the end of this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also go ahead and follow me on Instagram Twitter and Goodreads and I will see you all in my next video bye Ooh, I